having you. Hello everyone, and uh, today uh, human rights have already been, uh, been mentioned, and uh, my research is uh, directly connected to human rights, but in different per uh, perspective, uh, specifically uh, in uh, case law. And uh, it will cover uh, three main, uh, main points. Uh, first point is uh, consistency and uh, stability of uh, case law practice. Uh, general principle of justice means in particular that uh, uh, like case should be resolved alike and we cannot imagine uh, different um outcomes uh, in uh, similar cases. And uh, that's why stability and consistency is ensured at uh, one hand on the national level and on the another hand of the international level. And the uh, human rights field is uh, especially vulnerable for this consistency and uh, stability. And the uh, second point is about uh, development of case law uh, practice. Uh, consistency and uh, stability cannot be absolute or rigid. Uh, human rights uh, and different fields uh, uh, evolve over time and uh, is, uh, is developed. Uh, and uh, that's why it uh, needs uh, to be also developed in, in human rights. And uh, my third point and main point is that I argue that constitutional courts and collaboration with constitutional courts is, uh, uh, leads and uh, contribute to uh, one hand uh, this stability and consistency and to the other hand uh, this uh, development uh, and uh, change. And uh, in my research I uh, examine theoretical and apply issues of uh, uh, different uh, problems, uh, for example, problem of uh, legitimacy, of relevancy, of uh, uh, heterogeneity of comparative materials, as well as in instances uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, misuses and abuses of uh, comparative, uh, comparative materials. And I hope that uh, my research will b benefit to constitutional law studies uh, and uh, will enhance uh, constitutional adjudication in, in uh, human rights fields. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>